Okay, one of the new exciting features of Posture Screen Mobile is the addition of motion capture analysis for the purpose of functional movement assessments, screenings, and evaluations. And of course, it's just a one-time upgrade purchase through the in-app purchases under upgrades. Okay, so let's show you how it works. I've already taken the liberty of recording some evaluations of my patient. So we have this screens here, we have a new motion capture button. On this patient, I didn't uh, do any actual posture analysis on him. I just did the motion capture. As you can see, we have three different uh, motions. Uh, the first one that I did here is a basic squat of the subject. And you can scrub through and slow down as fast as you want or slow as you want. And you can also go ahead and do frame by frame. So if I wanted to see how he moved, I can go ahead and scrub right through here and I can go ahead and let's add an angle, shall we? We'll add an angle to his knee, okay? And then let's go ahead and change the color of the lines. And what I want to do is I want to now add a line that goes right through here, through his, his knee, and then I'm going to also go through his back and see if those lines are converging. As you can see, they're not parallel. What we can do is we can go ahead and take a snapshot and one other thing that we can do is we could also put a grid on there, do a snapshot as well. Now the cool thing about this is if I wanted to just go ahead and play this, I could, I could go ahead and play this down. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume so you don't hear me coaching the patient. And you'll see how he squats down. Okay, and come back up. And if you wanted to, let's go ahead and delete the lines. And let's go ahead and slow this down. So I can do it 1 16th the speed. Okay. As you can see, it comes up. Now, the cool thing is that if I wanted to, I can come back here. And again, let's go ahead and do another angle. We're going to pause. I'm going to bring this back right here. And if I want to do an angle here as well, as we can go one there as well too. We're going to go ahead and take a picture of that. We could go ahead and let's change the color of the lines again. And I'm going to do one up from this point. We're going to go ahead, come up from this point as well. All right, and we're going to take another picture there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So you can do any frames that you want. Now, the cool thing about this is we have all the snapshots are right here. Okay. And if I want to add this one to the report, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. This button basically will save it to the camera roll. I'm going to go ahead and hit done there. And we can go ahead and put this first one on there as well. And let's go ahead and move on. And we're going to do his lunge. So I'm going to turn this one this way. And let's go ahead and scrub through. And as you can see, here we have a problem already. Let's go ahead and do the angle here. Right? So if you look here, I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line up here vertical line. You can see obviously his knee is coming out too far. If I wanted to undo that, we could even do it from the toe and we can do a vertical axis line from the toe. Or what we can do is let's go ahead and put the grid over this. Makes it a little easier to see. Then we can go ahead and put a line up from the toe. Okay, and you can see his knee is coming a little too far forward. Let's go ahead and snap a picture of that as well too. Okay, and we can go ahead and play this down. And if we want to, we can go ahead and see how his other knee compares. We can go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and do an angle here, here, and here. Let's take another picture. Switch it over to the line. I'm going to change the color again. Let's go ahead and switch it to green. And I'm going to start at his toe, move up. And right about there. You can see, again, his knee's coming forward. Let's take a snapshot there. So you get the general idea. Now we're going to hit save. I'm going to switch it back to portrait. And I'm going to go ahead and select this picture here. Turn this on. One of the other things that you can do is you can label this. And just so you know what the movement was. And I'm going to call this one a lunge. Okay. And even with general range of motion, we can go ahead and do the same thing. So if I wanted to see how far you could bend forward, we could just do a general angle here. Okay. And see what that angle is. We'll snap a picture. 
and we could always watch them in real time. We're going to go ahead and slow this down, okay, and see how he moves in slow motion. Okay, so we can definitely do any motion, any movement works perfectly. Now, the great thing about this is we can go ahead and I'm going to add that to my exam and be done. Now, if we want to go ahead and see what we've done, of course, we could do the posture analysis. If we had that, it would include it. But we can go ahead and email that to our subjects, or excuse me, our patients. We could do just the motion to capture an analysis. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through. There you go, here, as well as here. And so you can have documentation for any movement, any time, all in the palm of your hand, of course. So let's go ahead and hit done. And that is our new module for Posture Screen Mobile. For any other questions, please feel free to email us at info at Thank you.